breakthrough destination is um, is a is a is a is a process that can really uh, help uh, developing the the, com uh, the compound, and it is also based on preliminary clinical data. So it is it is um, you know it is something based on some pre clinical uh, some uh, early clinical data, and I think we as a company uh, has actually worked with the FDA since the beginning of breakthrough. Uh, uh, process back in 2013 when we developed uh, ibutinib. That was one of the first drug uh, that was developed on the breakthrough uh, destination program. And so we have a lot of great experiences and, uh, and also tremendous benefit from the FDA's guidance uh, to uh, accelerate the development so that, that we can make it available as soon as possible uh, to these patients who otherwise don't have uh, other good options. So there are a few advantages, right? One is, um, you know, because it, uh, the process will allow us to have frequent, uh, very frequent uh, meetings with the FDA, and the FDA, uh, of course, out of the destination, uh, will be very actively involved in uh, early advices of how to uh, design the trial, how to, uh, how to move things along. So that's, that's really important. Um, and uh, in addition, uh, it would also help us to expand this into a broader population. So hopefully as we uh, move forward to early lines of patients, right? So the study we're doing here right now is in very much in a last line setting. So one would help uh, that uh, if you have good activity in the most advanced patient, it would also have very good activity, perhaps even better activity in earlier lines of patients. And that's where the biggest impact I think we can make. And so that would accelerate uh, the development into earlier lines of, 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 of patients.